19-year-old Leanna Ramnarini is behind bars for fatally stabbing 21-year-old Lakiria Hall during an altercation. At 10.54pm on Tuesday the 19th of December, authorities responded to Event Health at 601 East Altamonte Drive in Altamonte Springs, Florida after a friend brought 21-year-old Lakiria Hall to the hospital with stab wounds. Police said that Leanna got into a dispute with Lakiria at the Circle K about a mile down the road at 109 East Altamonte Drive after Lakiria finished a shift at the store. During the argument, Leanna stabbed Lakiria several times with a knife in front of multiple witnesses. Authorities said that the two women knew each other, and the friend who brought Lakiria to the hospital was present during the attack. Investigators believe the two individuals got into a dispute regarding a man they both dated. Police said that Leanna was reported missing in Okoe three years ago, and was living on the streets. Leanna was arrested and charged with second degree murder, and she's held at the John E. Polk Correctional Facility without bond. The investigation into the matter continues. A 33-year-old woman is behind bars for starving her son to death. At 5.35pm on Wednesday the 20th of December, authorities responded to a residence at 1128 Craigmead Drive in Morrisville, North Carolina on reports of an unresponsive 10-year-old child. When officers arrived, they found the boy's bruised and lifeless body in a state of rigor mortis. Investigators determined the boy had been dead for some time because his body was in a state of decomposition. Police arrested the child's mother, 33-year-old Priyanka Tuari, on charges of murder and neglect child abuse causing injury. Authorities said they've responded to Priyanka's home eight times over the last year for welfare checks because family members from India kept calling. Additionally, investigators noticed there was little to no food in the house, which had caused the boy to lose a lot of weight recently. Priyanka is held at the Wake County Detention Center and is being held without bond. The investigation into the matter continues. A man is behind bars for kidnapping and murdering a four-year-old boy. At around 9.30am on Monday the 11th of December, authorities responded to a duplex home at 4165 Renfrew Court Southwest in Atlanta, Georgia, on reports of an unresponsive child. When they arrived, they found the boy not moving or breathing. Medics transported the child to hospital where he was pronounced dead. During the investigation, Rodney McQuay was identified as a suspect in the boy's death. On Thursday the 21st of December, Authorities located and arrested Rodney. He is charged with murder, cruelty to children in the first and second degree, kidnapping and false imprisonment. He is held at the Fulton County Jail without bond. Authorities have not released the cause of the boy's death or Rodney's relationship to the child as the investigation into the matter continues. A man and a woman are behind bars following an investigation into the exploitation of children. On Friday the 15th of December, the Muscogee County Sheriff's Office Special Operation Unit began their investigation and discovered that a woman named Chandish Smith of Columbus, Georgia was asking for money from Craig Livingston of Cortland, New York for pictures of underage children. Authorities said that Chandra and Craig were negotiating about bringing the children to New York on New Year's Day. According to the investigation, the trip would have been so Craig could sexually assault the children. On Thursday the 21st of December, Cortland police arrested Craig, and on Friday the 22nd of December, the Lamar County Sheriff's Office arrested Chanda. They are each charged with two counts of human trafficking for sexual servitude, two counts of sexual exploitation of a child, and two counts of use of communication facility to commit a felony. The investigation into the matter continues.